Alrighty, so we're going to be building the catapult. Uh, to build the catapult, you start with the base, and you're going to take popsicle sticks here. You should have at least 11 popsicle sticks. We're going to use four for the base. Alright, so when you're building the base of the, po of the popsicle stick catapult, you need to do two on the bottom and two on the top, like so. And that's the shape it's gonna look like. So once your hot glue gun has heated up for a couple minutes, you're actually going to take a little bit of hot glue, put it on there, place your popsicle stick down. Wait, you wanna do it to both sides, I'm sorry. Keep it to a square shape. And you want to do the same to the other side. Just one dab of glue will do. You don't need that much at all. But be careful not to let it touch you because the hot glue gun and the hot glue is hot. And that is our base. All right, once you got the base built, we are going to take two popsicle sticks and now we're gonna make the side of the catapult. So what I want you to do is take the two sticks, align them up, and then take one of your small rubber bands and just place it about an inch in from one side. And we're going to wrap it around twice or three times, whatever is comfortable for you and you're gonna make a shape that looks like scissors now, where it's longer on one side than the other, but you still want to make sure there's a little bit on the small side at least, okay? So, we're going to take this piece, and we're going to set it down on the edge of our table. Try to find a table with a 90 degree edge, because that's what we need here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of tape that's about this long, and we're gonna need four of them. So I've got three more here already, but we're gonna need four of these pieces of tape. All right, we're gonna set the popsicle stick scissors that we've made here at a shape kind of like that, where it's about even on each side poking out and you kind of have room to, to measure. And we're going to type down one side of our popsicle stick scissors. Then we're going to take the base that we made earlier and we want the top layer of popsicle on the edge to go against the table right we don't want the bottom we want the top i want to put it right up against the side that we already taped and now i'm holding this one in place we're going to extend our scissors out as far as they'll go and kind of keep things you want to measure it now to try to make it so that the angle is a nice, even looking angle with still room on top, all right? Then take the second piece of tape, and now we hold our scissors in place, right, so that our base is there. Go around to the edge of the table here now, and this is to make sure that our catapult stands up straight. We're going to make sure this is flat against the table. We're gonna tape down both sides. Alrighty. Okay. So now it'll have a right angle. It'll make a triangle shape here. The A-frame with the base all taped in place. We take our glue gun that was heated earlier and we're now just going to add little dabs of glue right on the edges there to glue the A-frame to the base. I'm gonna do the top and the bottom. Okay. Careful not to touch yourself with the hot glue gun. It is hot. Once you have things glued, we're going to just leave it alone to let things dry. Okay, whenever it's done, we're going to take 
a second pair, making that into scissors as well, and we're going to do the same thing that we did before, but that'll be once this dries. So once you've let the glue dry and you have your single A-frame attached to the base, we're going to take it and set it on its side and take our other A-frame scissors that are still loose there, and we're going to open them up and overlay them right over the other A-frame that's already been made and glued in place. We're doing this to make sure that both the A-frames are exactly aligned so that the catapult is balanced, right? And you can see where the base from here to here, so I'm just gonna score it across just to make sure, right? You can either score just a little bit like I did on the edge here, or you can score all the way across if you need to see the line, right? Once you have that, we're gonna do just like we did before with our handy dandy pieces of tape here and we now know that we can just align this right to the edge, right? So, I'm gonna take this down, take our base and A-frame combo, set it on there, and we're going to extend out the other side of our A-frame so that everything is aligned. Now, it's gonna be a bit trickier because the A-frame base is heavier now than those scissors, so you might have to like, move a little slower and careful, okay? See that it's not 100% in place. But it's the same idea as before, okay? Once again, we press this up against the table to make sure it's a 90 degrees. And when we glue it down, that'll be complete on the next step there. Just let it dry and we should be good to go. All right, so once we had both the A-frames uh, hot glued on, right, because we scored it, we made sure that it's nice and balanced. This part's gonna get a little bit tricky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our frame rotated forward away from us so that we have the base facing us and the A-frame points away, right? We're gonna take a popsicle stick and put it underneath like this take our piece of tape and we're going to tape it from the one of the A-frame legs and go down to the popsicle stick, right? And we're gonna do that to both sides. So we need to make sure that as we're taping these things down from the A-frame to this new piece, that we're putting down. We can flip it back up now. You can double check to make sure that the space here, you have a good amount of space and that this bar is horizontal. Right? If it's not, because it's just a piece of tape, you can easily adjust it to make sure that it fits. Right? Make sure that the tape that wraps around the A-frame doesn't go all the way down the outside because the next step we're gonna do now that we have this on is we're gonna take our hot glue gun again and we're gonna hot glue the outside the tape made it so we didn't have to measure and balance. Do that. All right. Just rotate it around so we don't need that tape there. We want to make sure the other tape is still there. Okay. And then you take your finger and just press popsicle stick up against nice and light so that way the glue can dry and settle in flat. All right. Now we wait for it to dry and once it does we're going to be removing the tape and then using the hot glue on the inside to secure that bar to the frame. All right so for the final bar that we're going to add to our structure here we're going to take another popsicle stick and set it right on top of the two A-frames. Now you want to make sure that it's 
parallel in the same plane as this bar that we put in earlier, you don't want to do this. That's wrong. You want to make sure you do it like this, okay? And this part is going to require a little bit of finesse where you're going to take your one hand, hold on to the bar, right? While the other one puts a layer of glue across, hot glue, okay? Might be a little bit tricky, and we're going to do that to both sides. And now while we let that dry, we're going to take our final popsicle stick, our 11th popsicle stick, and we're going to glue it to our bottle cap. The bottle cap is going to be the place where we load up our projectiles. So we take just one dab of the hot glue, take the bottle cap, and just as you press it down, you can see it's a nice, even circle. Now we just wait a moment to let both of those dry. So the final step is that we're going to be adding our large rubber band to our catapult. But what we need to do first is tie some knots into it to make sure that it has enough tension. Okay, so we're going to go about a third of the way down the rubber band, maybe uh, a third to a fourth, about here. Okay, we're just going to tie a knot. and then we're going to do it a second time. So double knot, right? The more times you tie this, the more tension the final rubber band is going to have. You want the knots to, it's like that. It'll make, it'll make it have more tension. We recommend about two or three, in this video I'm gonna do two. Okay. Okay, so now that we have all of our pieces complete, we're going to take our rubber band with the knots and the base part of the catapult. And we're gonna go around to the back of the catapult, loop it underneath with the knots hidden by the popsicle. And we're going to take the long piece and loop it through the shorter piece that we made earlier, okay? Once we have that all tight in place, we're going to take our launcher and it's going to go from the top bar, it's going to go behind it, and the bottom bar is going to go in front of it. And it's going to sit just like that. You can use your finger to keep it in place because if you let it go, it'll fall. And this part's going to be a little bit tricky. You're going to lift up your catapult and bring the rubber band through to hold everything into place. And that is our catapult. So you will have Play-Doh or some sort of other material to launch. We don't have that here. So instead we just have a, a bread tie that we've coiled up into a ball. We just place it on, just sit back. Oh, well, that's the end of the video. Bye.